Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. For everybody that has been watching at home, at school, in a boxing ring, or wherever you might be right now, this is Kia's Reviews and this is my review of the newest installment in the Rocky franchise, Creed 2. But you don't think I can beat him? Is that what you're trying no. to say? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm not going to be here forever. And what's that supposed to mean? That means you got to do some smart thinking. Oh, you want to talk about smart decisions, Rock? You in this house all alone. Who been taking care of you? Me. I've been here for you. Creed 2 was absolutely smashing. It was very hard for me to find something throughout this film that was bad, as I was so desperate to grasp a little something that was bad. Even though every other film in the Rocky series had flaws, this one didn't, and also surprisingly, I enjoyed Tessa Thompson, as she actually had emotion and conveyed her character in a really upsetting and relatable way, sharing exceptional chemistry with Michael B. Jordan, which was a definite improvement on the first Creed movie. Creed 2 easily stands out as the best of all the Rocky series, making this a phenomenal entry into sporting movies and some of the best of the year. The first Creed film that came out three years ago was a stellar step up for the Rocky franchise as it combined the underdog slash newbie story with a hard earning story, much like the first Rocky film 40 years ago. The big difference between the two is that we knew who the characters were by inference and by fact, and to see this film Creed 2 excel in this area is truly unbelievable. Michael B. Jordan was so astonishingly perfect in this movie that it surpassed his exceptional performance earlier in the year as the Marvel villain Killmonger in Black Panther. I see no better actor to take on this character of Adonis Creed. You wouldn't be any good to anybody if you didn't do what you love. You wouldn't be able to breathe, right? Well, I wouldn't be any good to anybody if I don't handle this the right way. To say that this is an adjacent sequel to the Rocky films is very true. Both Rocky II and Creed II had the same story nearly. In Rocky II, Apollo Creed wanted revenge on Rocky for beating him in the first film. However, in Creed II, Ivan Drago wants revenge on Rocky, but uses his son Victor to defeat Adonis. It's a very confusing premise going in, knowing nothing about the series, but if you see Rocky 1, 2, 4, Balboa and Creed 1, you'll know everything you need to. This confusing premise was most of the reason that made this film as exciting and intense as it was. Witnessing the events unfolding on the big screen is really the only way to truly take in the feelings of Adonis Creed, as the sounds of the punches thrown shake the cinema, which I am seriously considering to be a benefiting factor on why I enjoyed Creed 2 so much. To add on to the previous thought of Creed 2's story is how well both sides of the story connected together and flowed. It's very rare to have a movie with two plots come together and stay together the whole runtime. The first side of the story is a story we've all seen before, the boxing against Drago. However, what entertained me more was the second side which was Adonis's relationship behind the boxing, which was without spoiling anything, both deeply emotional and beautiful. I actually think this is the only movie where Tosser Thompson has actually impressed me. I ain't got a choice. That's the same thing your father said, and he died right here in my hands. Listen to me, this guy is dangerous. But you don't think I could beat him? When I say that there was so much to Creed 2 that I loved, I'm honestly so serious. I've never seen a better sports film, and I've never seen one that has kept me so focused the whole time. Creed 2 is by no chance a waste of a film or a cash grab. Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson stunned me among the extremely intense fight scenes that were choreographed to perfection and also along with a stellar soundtrack. Creed 2 is one of the best of the year and is up there with Mission Impossible Fallout and Game Night, which were two of my favourites of this year. But with no doubt in my mind and begging myself to go see it 10 more times, Creed 2 easily deserves a 10 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. Have you seen Creed 2? Let me know your thoughts below. If you like what you're seeing here and you want to see even more, Check out my channel and be sure to have a look at my previous reviews of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. As always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you may like to watch. This has been Q's Reviews, signing off for now.